Hi everybody, I'm Lori and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool soccer ball out of just a few simple cutters and two colors of bonnet. It's going to be so easy, so let me show you how to make it. So to make the soccer ball, you're going to want to do this on top of a white circle or a white disc. So I've rolled out some white fondant. I'm just going to cut out the circle and then I'm going to build the soccer ball on top of that. So using a hexagon cutter, I'm going to cut out 12 white hexagons. Then I'm going to roll out some black fondant and I'm going to cut out 7 black hexagons. Using a little bit of water, I'm going to wet my disc so that way they can all stick down properly. I'm going to center my black one and then build out around it using the white ones. So you want to surround your black hexagon with six white hexagons. Then using the rest of your black and white pieces, fill in the rest of your disc like this. Once you're done with all of the pieces, I'm just using my rolling pin and I'm just going to gently roll over my soccer ball. And you want to do this very gently so you don't actually squish anything but that's just going to compact everything nice and tight and then I'm just going to recut out my circle and I'm going to use a stitching tool to just draw stitch lines going around each of the shapes and this is a nice finished touch and it's going to make it look more complete Once you're done, you want to ice your cupcake. So I've just got a vanilla cupcake and some buttercream icing. And you don't have to do a perfect job because the fondant is actually going to go right on top and cover everything up. You just want to center it, place it on top, and then just use your hands to kind of mold it into the shape of a ball. Make sure it's nice and smooth and even. It was super easy to make. Now, of course, it's not a traditional soccer ball. I kind of cheated <laughs> by just using the one shape, whereas actually a traditional soccer ball has um, the black's one shape and then the white is actually a different shape. Um, but I kind of cheated and I found this way so much easier than the other way. I did do the other way as well, but I found it took way long unless you have the cutters for it. If you have the cutters for it, go ahead. But if you're going to make templates and cut out all the little pieces, I found it way too time consuming and you couldn't really tell the difference between the two. So I hope that you guys like my method and have fun making them at home.